Okay, okay, here we go. Here's the thing. You're all fucking stupid, so I gotta explain it to you. Because you're fucking stupid. That it's it's really that, that simple, you know. I'm sick and tired of making tutorials for you fucking idiots. You gotta figure it out. Okay? Here's what you do. You you might be thinking, we gotta go to gaming and, and download the mod, but no. No, why don't you go to MetaMod and the Source Mod websites and download that shit? Because you need that shit, okay? So you're gonna download that, and then you're gonna go to Game Banana, okay? It's pretty fucking easy. If you can't download it, then I don't know what to tell you. But before we install anything related to the bot overall, we have to install MetaMod and Source Mod. All you gotta do is go to the TF folder, the place where TF2 is installed, and you just you drag, see this little cute little add-ons folder? You just you put that, you, you put that in the TF folder, and you're done. Then, once you got the files you need in that exact location, what you need to do next is finally get the files for the bot overall. You download part 1 and you download part 2. Now, part 1 has a folder called custom. That is literally just the custom folder. I thought it would be easier because then you could just put it in the TF folder like the add-ons folder. You don't got to do anything else. You just plop it in there. Then the other thing is yet another add-ons folder. So you just do the same thing. You put the add-ons folder in there. You click replace, and boom, yada yada yada, you got that part done. Ugh. Okay, you know, you got that done, okay? So what you gotta do next is you gotta, you got, you got your shortcuts. The, the shortcuts, you got 64-bit and 32-bit. You also got, like, you, you got the fucking multiplayer, you got the single player. Now, what this does is this allows you to just open it up with the bow overhaul stuff or play multiplayer, because you can't have it on at the same time, because of how uh, Valve made this work. You can't load plugins unless you have it set up a certain way, so you gotta launch it with the specific shortcut for your system. It's pretty, that's pretty simple. Now if that actually launches for you, then you're probably good. If you didn't fuck anything else up, you're probably done. But, in case it's not working entirely like you want, would want it to, here's a couple things you could do. First of all, you could go here, you could go to properties on the shortcut and change it to be wherever you want it. So if you have it installed on a different location, or if you just need to change that at all, there you go. You could change the directory of the shortcut, it just needs to be where the Half-Life2.exe is. Okay, so here's the last solution. If for whatever reason, nothing's working, what you can do is you could do the launch option dash insecure. No spaces, you just type that in right here. Now what that does is it just makes it so you can't join online matches, but it comes with the great, great, great reward of loading the plugins no matter what. So this will pretty much seal the deal. This should work 100% probably, uh, hopefully. There you go. So all you gotta do is that. It won't cause a vac ban, by the way. Don't fucking ask me about that for the 50th time. It won't. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Yep. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's, that, that's all there is to it. Yep.